it's almost done downloading. Once it's done downloading, we can just create our account. That's the first thing we have to do. So let's just open that up. Now we should see a screen like so. Just gonna go into next, 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 next. It gives you quick instructions of what everything means. So green is good, fair, and then poor. I think poor should be red. And actually, if you look at the instructions that came with your papers, it actually does tell you that right here, danger is red. And then warning would be that, which is fair, and then good is good. Anyways, let's just keep going with this. I'm gonna go on and get started. So right now, it's the point in time that we have to sign up. On the bottom, you will see sign up. It's very important for you guys to sign up unless you have a login already. So go ahead and sign up or login. So if you press on sign up, we're gonna see this screen. It's gonna say name, put in your current email, and email, it can be your iCloud email, for example, your Gmail, Hotmail, anything. Create a password. Use a different password than what you use for your own personal email. Once you click on sign up, it's gonna send you a six digit verification code to your email. And then just put it in here and click on confirm. Once you press confirm, you're gonna see this screen. We can just press okay. And from here, we're gonna add our device. So. Before we do that, make sure your iPhone or tablet, whatever you guys have this app on, have the Bluetooth turned on. So make sure Bluetooth is turned on. So we made sure that Bluetooth is turned on. We're all set to go. We're gonna go ahead and finally power this up. So right here, we have our battery. We're gonna take this out and we're gonna activate this. I'm gonna make sure just by taking out the battery, seeing that there's no pieces of plastic in there, putting this back and then Right now, I'm just gonna place this on top without the screw. I don't really need to, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. So here we go. As long as I do that, I'm gonna see this circle. And that, that's a good thing. That means it's turned on for now. So what we're gonna do is add device. And right now, it found my device already. So just make sure to have it closed and we should be good to go. Let's just select it. Now this part, it just asks you kind of if you ever guys had a Nest Mini or anything like that, Google Home Mini, it's gonna ask you where is this in your house? Cause you could have a couple of these. For now, I'm just gonna select living room, but it could be anywhere, or you can even customize this. So as mentioned, I'm gonna go ahead and select living room, location, I'm just gonna select home for now. And at this point, it's gonna ask you to share your location. You can, if you want to. If you don't, you don't have to contribute at all to randommap.com. So it's really your choice. You don't share or share. In my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and share my location. Once you go into next, it's just gonna download any updates. It's gonna update your device right now. Just make sure that your phone or your tablet is close to the actual device. So just to show you right here, there's no lights or anything on it at this point in time. So don't worry about it. There's no lights or anything going on your device itself. It's all about your phone or iPad. It's gonna tell you that it's updating. After just a little bit, we should see this, rebooting the device. At this point, you might see these lights going on, on your device itself. So you guys see that green going all the way around? That's because it's rebooting. That's perfectly normal. So after just a few minutes, you should see this, done. And then from here, device successfully added to your account. You should see a message like so. Tap on done. At this point, it's just gonna sync up. On the top, we should see your device's name, or I should say where your device is at. So living room, in my case, it's gonna be syncing. And just make sure to put it and just leave it there for a little bit and just let it be while it's syncing. So right now you should see that it says syncing up there and we're pretty much done. So at this point in time, we can just tap up here. And we're gonna see this up to date, air quality is good. And from here, just a little bit about other stats down here below that which are very, very important, but Luckily, everything's good, at least in this room. But at the end of the day, it does say that your sensor is calibrating day one out of seven. So we do have to leave that. Uh, if you guys tap on the side, you're gonna be able to see a little bit more right here information. This is more for later on though. So we can tap here, we can tap here, tap here, tap here, and tap here. So it, it is good to notice all of these stats but we do have to wait. Just just wait for this to do its thing, to get that calibration done, and then we can actually look at actual stats. For now, just leave it at one room and just leave it in that one room for now. Later on, you guys can move it around. For now, just leave it in that one room, okay? 
But anyways, that would be it for the setup of this guy right here. Remember, you do have settings on the top right hand corner. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.